Hello again. Is Russia headed for collapse? <laughs> well, look, we all know that Russia is having a tough time, and it's largely because at a time when it's uh, weakened by COVID, uh, much like the rest of us, it has, under the leadership of Vladimir Putin, made what is probably the single most disastrous strategic military mistake since Hitler <laughs> invaded Russia. Not only did Russia underestimate its military capabilities and the strength and competence of its invading forces in Ukraine, but it catastrophically underestimated what turned out to be the unified reaction of the West in supplying weapons, uh, cutting off energy purchases, and blocking its uh, financial links outside Russia. Many would say that this means that collapse is imminent and that Public rioting will break out and destroy not only the government, but the uh, economy. While others say it is only a glitch, uh, Russia will soon recover, it'll bounce back. So, as usual, I look at both sides. First of all, uh, let's talk about those who say, yes, it is definitely <laughs> headed for collapse. The principal argument for collapse is that the economy, both on the consumer side and on the side of government finances, is suddenly in very bad shape. A declining ruble has made consumer goods more expensive, inflation is increasing, food and other consumer essentials are in short supply, and the Russian public is beginning to suffer. That's something you never want to have happen at a time of war. At the same time, the government is unable to provide much relief since its own finances are in turmoil owing to an unexpectedly protracted war and the sequestering of its wealth abroad. It's a real mess which can only get worse. Uh, also, many talented people uh, are now leaving Russia. They are bailing out like rats deserting the sinking ship. That in itself is quite an ominous sign of coming collapse and and little can be done about it. Uh, I'm afraid they have no confidence in, in the nation's leadership. They are seeing Putin as a loser. Thus, there is political peril. He, early in his incumbency, Putin based his popular appeal on a, on a strong economy buoyed by high oil prices. When that began to fail, he tied his fortunes to restoring Russia's empirical role in the world. Uh, and that is fast fading as well, and it can only be a question of time before this results in a political crisis, Kremlin infighting, regime change, and the like. This kind of turmoil is never good for any country. Russia's biggest problem is that its recent experience has demonstrated that repressive authoritarian government is simply not turning out to be a productive arrangement for this country. It was under the czars, perhaps, but not now. Under the old line communist state, it eventually fell apart. There are lessons to be learned from this, and as a nation, it's going to have to face up to the truth and will probably do so with violence. This is just one more nail in the coffin of a once fairly strong country. Okay, well, what about those that say, no, it is not uh, facing collapse. Uh, they don't think that's a serious uh, position. Some of them would, of course, say this is just a time of disappointment, but not. But it's just one of many disappointments and glitches that happen from time to time in any country. Russia will be no exception, and it will bounce back. Uh, and we must never forget that Russia's main strategic strength lies in its enormous oil and gas reserves. It has some of the, I think it has the largest oil reserves apart from Saudi Arabia in the world and the revenues which can be claimed for them, especially at a time of increased shortage. Uh, they will find a way to sell these products and thus be able to use the proceeds to repair any short-term financial problems. The gloom merchants are wrong. <laughs> well, what's my take on it? Well, look, there is no reasonable scenario in which Russia can restore any measure of financial stability, let alone strength. If Putin continues, as at present, it can only result in more financial pain from the West and more financial disappointment and even disaster for consumers. As time gets tougher, people will be increasingly unwilling to accept the financial 
embezzlement by Putin and his cronies, and they're going to demand recovery of all that money and everything they've stolen. And Russia could even find itself in the losing end of a protracted war with the West. So the reality is that Putin is trapped, and he has no reasonable exit option from the mess that he is in and one that he has created. If he is replaced and the powers that be acknowledge the mistake that they've made, they will be humiliated and be obliged to undertake reform uh, and repair, something for which they are clearly unprepared and unskilled. They might even have a difficult time protecting themselves from a disaffected nation. It's going to be a very tough and long slog. I'm afraid the outlook for Russia is bleak. Well, sorry for anyone who supports Russia, of which I don't think there can be very many people, but that's just uh, where we are now, and, and uh, uh, I'm afraid there is almost no sensible alternative way to state the case. So if you like that, please do the usual. Give me a like, subscribe, comment, uh, uh, notify, and I'll see you at the next one.